Well, the kicks for guns, the reason that this is a uh, good program is it actually takes the uh, firearms off the streets. Um, you know, a lot of the majority of the time that we have some issues is when there's burglaries and there's actually firearms that are actually taken. So if we have firearms that people are, have at their residence that they don't need, they don't use, they don't want, this is a good way of actually getting them off somebody and putting them in a safe place. A lot of these guns that we come across can easily fall in the hands of somebody who shouldn't have them. I mean, here's a... Uh, Here's a weapon that clearly is a, is a submachine gun that turned loose on the streets or against law enforcement is a problem. But somebody thought enough of it to bring it into us, got their 50 bucks, and we'll destroy it. Also in here is a sold-off shotgun, which I see right here. And if you think of a shotgun, how powerful it is regularly. Here, you have the barrel sold off for easy concealment. It could go up your sleeve, down your pants leg, and that one blast is more than enough to kill you or anybody standing around you. So this is a, this is an illegal firearm uh, based on the width of the barrel, so the length of the barrel. So it's, I think it's just a good community event. Um, I know in one gentleman's case, uh, his mom had passed away, and he found a bunch of firearms in the house, and he just didn't know what to do with them. <clears throat> and he said, you know what, I'm just going to take them over to the Sandbor Center, and get gift cards for them, I know that they'll never get in the hands of anybody who use them against law enforcement or our community, and they get melted down. So I think that's what the beauty of the program is.